What's up, Quark Out There fans? It's HiringADrone.com, and today I'm going to do a review of the JJRC H20 Hexacopter, which is the 6-axis mini drone. Um, so I already did the unboxing. I was able to take this thing for a flight, and if you look in the bottom corner, you will see uh, my flight video from today. So there's a lot of positives to go over about this little bitty mini or nano drone. Um, and let's get started. So first and foremost, it does have six motors. Uh, they're not gear driven. So I think that's a little bit of a plus, especially where I fly, where it's uh, dusty and grimy. You know, that stuff gets into the gears and makes them squeak. And there's a little bit of cleanup and maintenance with those. So that's, that's a, a plus in my opinion. Um, with the six motors, you know, the pitch is real nice and easy. Hovers really, really good. Uh, your orientation is pretty fair. It's fairly easy to see in the day with the difference between the blades. Uh, with only the two in the front are white, so then that way, you know, if you're on your side here, you know double white uh, is forward. Um, so, you know, this thing handled really, really good. JJRC, I like the brand because I do have a tarantula. So for me, this was kind of a no-brainer to buy this at, you know, $20. I think that's what I paid with shipping. Um, you know, it comes with a lot of really good benefits. Um, as far as weight goes, uh, fairly light, you know, it does have a little weight to it. Um, this is one of the other drones in the class. It's a mini, it's the, uh, each in H8 mini. Uh, this is a quadcopter, but this one reminds me quite a bit of the JJRC in which the way that they fly. So if you've ever flown this one here, this one flies similar. Uh, pitch is a little bit slow. I'm sorry, the yaw rate's a little bit slower on the JJRC, whereas on the Eichen, uh this thing is super fast and touchy. Some people don't like this because of that, but this thing hovers. It's very stable. It flies great in the wind. Very well put together. Um, so this one does remind me of it. Now, um, I did have a couple negatives that I experienced with this. Uh, like I said, the flight went great, but these are little things that I'm going to nitpick on on this about that I didn't like is if you look here I have my prop guards off and the prop guards you know, slide on like this and they're held together through this screw here um, before taking them off I just thought you could unscrew the screw pull the prop guard off no problem you do have to be careful because when you undo this screw and you pull the prop guard out it opens this whole leg up here uh, for the wires to be exposed for the motor to drop down and you do need to save the screws because you got to put the screws back in. When you do screw the screws back in, um, you need to make sure you don't do it too tight so you don't break off this plastic piece and then ruin one of these arms on here or your undercarriage or, or top carriage there. Um, so that was a little strange as far as how that goes. Um, I, I noticed it, it did fly very well without the prop guards on there. I only flew it indoors with I'm sorry, without the prop guards. I only flew it indoors with the prop guards, and it handled well inside too as well, but, you know, I didn't have any wind resistance. I did fly this in heavy winds today. Um, it cut through the wind with the pitch with no problem. It hovered very, very stable. Like I said, it reminds me a lot of the Eichen uh, and the way that it flies and the way that it handles. Um, second thing that I don't like on this is this charger port back here, the battery port and the battery bay. I don't know if I got maybe a bad battery, but my battery is bigger than the, the battery bay. And this is all the way smashed back here. So I had to like mash this battery um, down just so I could get it even to be able to plug this in and out. Um, I tried to take it out, you know, the first time I plugged it in. And it took me about 10 to 15 minutes of just mashing this thing down in order to be able to get it. So there's a piece of plastic on the battery that you can see. It wraps up and around and then it's it's taped right here. So I don't know if they just, you know, didn't do a good job with the battery of bending this piece of metal over and then wrapping this further so that way it fits in the battery bay. Haven't really heard anyone complain about that. Um, you know, the last thing is is that a lot of people reported that if this does get out of range, uh, the motors don't shut off, this thing just flies away. Um, I don't live in the best conditions uh, for that to happen, so most likely I'd probably lose mine if it does. So I've been uh, very, very aware of my surroundings and how far my range is with this when I've been flying it so far because I do not want to lose this. 
Uh, I do like it. So, um, the controller is a lot bigger than most of the, the minis or the nanos in its class. Um, and it has a couple more features. It has some bumpers here for your speeds. This thing does have three speeds, which is very nice. Uh, in comparison to, let's say, like the Ichin or sort of other minis in its class, which typically only have two. Um, this one does have three, and it's nice because you can change your speed button without taking your fingers off the stick. This controller is a lot bigger, too, as well. So this is the normal size that you would get um, in, let's say, like the mini. And this one here is for the Ichin A8. And just to kind of give you an example, it doesn't have the bumpers here. So if I want to push my speed, I have to take my finger off the controller and do it that way. Whereas with this one, I can just hit it here and I can do my flips here, press it in, and then you, you pick your side. Trim buttons, you still do have to take your hands off, but um, a lot of times you can trim those up before you take off if you know what your settings are. This does take two AA batteries, whereas this one takes two AAA batteries. So I'm hoping the range might be a little bit better uh, because this seems to be a little bit more powerful and a lot bigger. Um, the charger is a, one of the other downfalls. This isn't universal, even with some of the other minis that have this, this charger port. Um, it's kind of been reversed in some of the other minis or nanos. So it's not universal, so you will need to carry it around with you. Um, you know, wherever you go, whenever you're going to fly. So overall, very satisfied with the purchase, especially for the price that I paid for this. Um, you know, excellent for 20 bucks. I mean, you can't beat it. I mean, the closest thing you're going to get is a, a Cheerston in that price range. Uh, you know, CX-10, which is very, very small and doesn't even handle, you know, quite as well as this. And this is a uh, hexacopter. So, so far, so good. Definitely like it. Be sure to watch the, uh, the first flight video that I recorded uh, in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, while this video is playing. If this video helped you out in any way, definitely give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future.